Homes damaged, trees uprooted, just some of the damage in Mercer County, New Jersey this morning. A possible tornado passed through yesterday, forcing dozens of families to find another place to stay. Ross DiMatte joins us there live with more on the extent of the damage. Ross. Good morning, Mary and Chris. The National Weather Service is expected to be out here in Mercer County, New Jersey, later on today, surveying the damage for themselves and trying to determine if, in fact, a tornado officially touched down here yesterday afternoon. Judging by the damage, I would say that is pretty likely. It is extensive. Let me step out of the way and show you. I mean, you guys mentioned it. Trees completely uprooted out of the ground. There is debris everywhere. Right now, we are in Lawrence Square Village, and uh, yeah, this is just a small sample of the damage we have seen already this morning. Take a look at some video we shot to give you a better sense of the damage and a better view. This all happened in just a matter of minutes yesterday, maybe around two minutes or so. Around 3.45 in the afternoon yesterday is when all the calls started flooding the West Windsor Communication Center, uh, reporting significant weather event in progress. And then minutes later, the storm was over, but the damage was already done here in Mercer County. Power lines taken down. Trees were uprooted out of the ground. Some of them ended up on top of vehicles and homes. The developments of Dutch Neck Estates and Jefferson Park are among the most affected areas. Many of the residents we talked to didn't think much of the noise that they were hearing until they had walked outside and actually saw the damage that was left behind. Now, since the storm has hit, firefighters have been going door to door, uh, just checking on residents to make sure that they're okay. Police officers have been shutting down roads where they've seen power lines down and possibly active and uh, could be dangerous. And in total, we're told that 10 homes were damaged by falling trees. 27 apartment units are currently uninhabitable, and about 75 to 100 people have now been displaced from their homes. And if we can come back out here live, I do want to say that maybe the most incredible part about the story is that no deaths have been reported and no injuries even have been reported as a result of this damage, uh, this storm and the subsequent damage left behind by it. Uh, the National Weather Service again is going to be out here today trying to determine if in fact a tornado officially touched down and they are telling any residents who have been displaced or affected by the storm to meet at the clubhouse of this community so that they can get more help and more resources from the Red Cross. I'll send it back to you guys. All right, Ross Dimitri live in Mercer County, New Jersey for a silver lining there. No injuries, no deaths reported. Ross, thank Thank you very much.